on Elo. Go the Bulls win! Chicago. A city well known for some amazing sports moments, great food, bold architecture, and 77 very diverse communities. Within these communities, Chicago has produced some of the most famous, creative, and influential entrepreneurial minds the world has ever seen. In this docu-series, we're gonna take you on a journey so you can learn all about the next generation, who they are, and who's up next. Welcome to the Lingo Spotlight. Damn, okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tyler, a.k.a. Mr. Dingo. So the meaning behind 0925, that essentially commemorates the memory of my mother. I lost her in 2014, and that was essentially the worst day of my life. I had to figure out how to get my sense of security back, and I found that back in my brand. My mother always instilled in me to own something in this world, so I own my brand. And that's why that 0925 is on every piece of clothing. So our logo was inspired by the actual dingo of Australia. It's the most badass dog to ever live and the only one to be shunned out of his natural environment, forced to strive and survive and become dominant. So when you wear that logo, you show the world that you do the same thing. So I am born and raised on the south side of Chicago. I went to Kenwood High School, where actually the brand was, uh, well, the logo was inspired there. So uh, I always had a uh, urge to be different. So the inspiration behind Dingo Did the Chain, uh, that actually came from just my love of action figures, my love of just you know, all of my old toys that I used to play with as a kid. Um, I had to figure out a way to just simply rehash them and upcycle those toys and uh you know be cool about it <laughs> so i turned it into a fashion statement so that way i get to still keep my toys and also get to rock some really cool jewelry at the same time and it just you know just changed my life when it came down to just you know opening my creativity you know just that whole you know just learning a whole new craft you know playing with chemicals like that it, it, it's fun it's rewarding so you know dingo did the chain was definitely uh just from my love of toys my love of animation my love of you know just being a kid you know and uh it's my way of uh i guess being an adult out of it <laughs> that doesn't really make sense but okay <laughs> definitely has to be controlling my own hours, controlling my own will, controlling my own finances, being my own boss. I don't have to report to anybody but myself. I have full creative control over everything that I do and I, I can't beat that. Holding yourself accountable and making sure you set your schedule and hold yourself to it. Staying consistent and keeping your willpower up for sure because being your own boss comes with the responsibility of, you know, you have to, you have to get up. You can't just sit around and do nothing. You can't let the days go by. You gotta set your goals and you gotta actually, you know, finish those goals, write them down make sure you knock them out step by step. And then, you know, being an entrepreneur, you you own every aspect of it. So you have to control every single aspect of your business, whether that's the finance portion, to the social media aspect, to the inventory. And it's hard keeping up with all that. And especially not having a team, I get the satisfaction of, you know, people liking something that you create. That is just, it's amazing. You know, just that look in their eye when they, you know, they see that, they're like, wow, this is really cool. And the fact that you created that, that does it for me. And I kind of just deal with self-doubt when it happens, because when it comes down to having a clothing brand, you're always going to doubt your designs and 
things that you think are going to be dope, things that you think are not going to be dope, um, especially when it comes down to like the opposite sex. That's probably like my biggest struggle right now when it comes down to women's apparel. I think it might look nice, but you know, certain women may not like it. So, but you know, when I think about that self-doubt, I just, I just ultimately think, you know what, this is my brand anyway, whatever I put out, people, some people are going to like it. People aren't going to like it. So the dingo essentially was my spirit animal. I related to that dog in so many different ways. It was inspired by a few different entities. Uh, Rocco's Martin Life was one of them. Uh, he was uh, one of my favorite cartoons. He was an actual dingo. Uh, he was just a silly dingo. <laughs> and uh, my love of skeletons and Bam Margera's Jackass series was a humongous inspiration for me. Just that love of just being badass and just being, you know, crazy and different and wild. And, you know, that's why he is the centerpiece of the brand. You know, they were shunned out. I know that feeling all too well. I've been shunned out of so many different things in my life, like a lot of people are. Uh, they were forced to strive. I know a thing or two about striving and they survived. I'm still here, baby. So, you know, we're going, we're going strong and we're not stopping. So that's why the dingo essentially is me. Me and the dingo are one of the same. And, you know, that's why Dingo 0925 is here today. And, you know, that's what it's all about, baby. The, the triple S's, you know, the, the SSS, shun, strive, survive. What's good, beautiful people? And welcome back to the Lingo Spotlight. I am your host, Mr. Lingo himself. You all just had an opportunity to meet one of my amazing brothers, Tyler, AKA Mr. Dingo. If you don't follow him, please go do so right now. Dingo0925, just doing some amazing things around the city of Chicago. Helen from the South Side. You know, we West Siders over here, but we gotta represent for everybody. Everybody has a lingo. Everybody has something that makes up who they are as a creative, as an entrepreneur singer, writer, dancer, whatever the case may be. What we're trying to do here at the Lingo Spotlight is just really talk about these people, give them an opportunity to share their story, let the world get to see beyond the city of Chicago, who they really are and what they're trying to do. Um, so please tune in, continue to tune in, make sure you go follow us, like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. We got an amazing docu-series for you all. Again, I am your host, Mr. Lingo himself. And until then, talk more, be social. You know I had to rub my Lingo joint one time. You feel me? Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.